It is time. Time to wake up to a new reality. To a blank canvas that I have painted in with warmth and peace. In my new era, the choice is yours. Whether to live in quiet serenity or bloody strife. To dwell in joyous prosperity. Or bitter rivalry. You can face each other. As sworn enemies. Or united as brothers. But a storm is brewing. And soon you will discover that even in this new era, one constant remains. There is always something worth fighting for. have chosen to defy peace. Then you have chosen war with a god. of you. Then go before I put you down. Fight! <laughs> Sento's mine, and I won't give it up without a fight. experience I lack, I make up for in heart.
If your disease becomes known, you will be banished. I only want what's best for you. Or do you secretly covet my throne? <laughs> of you then go before I put you down fight <laughs> Give it up without a fight. Protector of Earthrealm, God of Fire. You have skills, Raiden, but you're inexperienced. Whatever experience I lack, I make up for in heart. becomes known, you will be banished. I only want what's best for you. Or do you secretly covet my throne? <laughs>
mean, that was pretty good, right, guys? Yeah. Now, I'm sure you have many questions about what we just saw, and to tell you more, I am so honored to welcome to Summer Game Fest one of our industry's greatest creators, a man who has been loyal to the same franchise and fan base for more than three decades. Please join me in welcoming to Summer Game Fest the creator of Mortal Kombat, Ed Boon! <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> They love you. All right, well, Ed, uh, first of all, thank you for that incredible uh, world premiere. We got to see all the gameplay of MK1, and everyone just wants to know more about this, because first of all, this is in a, it's, it's MK1, right? It went from 11 to 1, so tell us about this. Is it a new timeline? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know how many people have seen the, the ending of Mortal Kombat 11. Liu Kang basically was kind of graduated into, like, you know, a fire god, right? And he's he created a brand new universe. And this universe, this is why we're calling it Mortal Kombat 1, is because this is the beginning of a new timeline. A number of these characters you've seen before, but they're told in a completely different story. And so... Sub-Zero and Scorpion are brothers now, and there's, there's all these things that were rivalries before are now allies, and so mixing the whole thing up, so we're just kind of rebooting, and that's what the one is for. Well, it looks incredible. Everything we saw there was, you know, in-game, gameplay, the cinematics look incredible. Uh, I know the team has been working for four years on this, but the thing we got to talk about are these cameos, because we saw some pretty amazing stuff there. Now, so tell us, how does that work? You obviously, you have your sort of your main you know, character that you'll pick, and then I know you also have a separate kind of cameo menu, so you pick sort of a pair when yeah. you start the game? Yeah, normally in, in a fighting game, you'll, you'll see a, a roster, basically, you know, where you select your character. After you do that, there's a second roster of characters, which are a whole new, uh, completely different so. fighters that are the cameo fighters, and these fighters actually, they will join the fight but they, a lot but of they, blank squares there. Yeah, so it's kind of like imagine yourself with Sub-Zero, but you have some of Jack's moves, and yeah. you can call him out. You can do it multiple times, as you saw in the gameplay, you okay. know. So you can piece, you, you can basically combine these two characters. All the characters can be combined with all the cameo fighters, and that's where you see, that's where the player's kind of imagination comes in, and they can actually customize it for what they like seeing, you know, the, the best team-ups. Well, so how does that work? So you're in gameplay, you have your main, you have your cameo. How do you, do you summon them? Is it time-based? Like, how often do they come in? To, like, it's not a tag team thing, right? Where yeah, still, yeah, exactly. And and you're you're basically summoning them. It's just one button push is basically summoning, but they have a variety. So you can go, you know, push that button with towards, and it'll do a, a different move. Push it with down, it'll do a different move. And so the combination... Oh, I see. So you can bring them in a combo. Almost. Exactly, okay. exactly. And and so, and you see, there's like a meter up on top, uh -huh. which is basic. That, that'll limited so you can't obviously fire them indefinitely but um you call you can call them pretty much whenever you want and they have you know like in the middle of a combo they'll have a lot of um oh you know basically a whole arsenal of their moves so sony you saw come out there sometimes you'll see them appear twice in there it's amazing so time base they come out and then obviously as you go through you revealed some of them there, but are, it's a, is it a different set of characters that'll be in the cameos? Are there some repeats from the main roster? How will that work? Yeah, yeah. Some of the characters are going to be available as cameos as well as the main roster fighters. So you can play Sub Zero with Sub Zero, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can play. You can same thing with Scorpion. But a, a lot of our our cameo fighters are kind of like nods back to our uh -huh. first game. So you'll notice Sonya and Kano and Jax are in their kind of older costumes. And so there's there's a lot of that novelty. We have a lot of like really surprise ones. I think you you guys saw Goro. Yes, Goro was, was in, in there. there. Yeah, yes, yeah. Exactly. So so th there's a lot of like kind of really digging into the old Mortal Kombat games as far as getting, you know, um, we really love the novelty of it. We really want the cameo characters to feel, uh, you know, kind of nod to the old games. <laughs> well, speaking of uh, not of the old games, let's talk. You confirmed, I think, or it's at least known that Jean Claude Van Damme is actually going to be in this game as Johnny Cage, yeah. right? Yeah. Is that true? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That was, yeah. people don't know the story. I mean, Bloodsport was such an inspiration for Mortal Kombat, so he oh, yeah. finally is now he's yeah, it, part it, of it? It's a huge first uh, full circle moment. You know, the, the first Mortal Kombat game, we originally wanted to be Van Damme, the video game, and that, and that never really worked out. So I, I can't tell you how many times over the last 30 years we've tried to get him 
Uh, you know, we were this close, yeah. like four or five times. And uh, so finally we got him, and he's doing the voices, too. Wow. So you're going to hear John claude his <laughs> voice doing Johnny Cage lines and stuff like that. We're really excited about it. Wow. Well, I know the team has been working so hard in Chicago to build this through COVID, and it's coming out in September, so we don't have to wait long, right? That's right. With this, this has been a very difficult uh, secret to keep yeah. <laughs> over the last over the last four years, and so, uh, but we're we could not be more excited in terms of uh, getting players' hands on it. Um, and you know, throughout the summer, we're going to be showing a lot more content, a lot more characters, a lot more cameo characters. You know, so there's a lot of reveals that are coming up. Amazing. Well, Ed, thank you so much for giving us the first look at MK1. As you said, this weekend people will be playing at Press and Media, so we'll be seeing lots more coverage, lots more characters to reveal on the main roster and cameos. Uh, Ed Boone, thank you so much. First look at Mortal Kombat. Awesome. Thanks for <laughs> Amazing.